Oh my gosh, no way. I have been waiting years for this. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I gotta be really careful to make sure I don't get crushed by falling rocks, but check this out. This right here is a huge concretion that fell out of the rock wall right here. And if you don't know what a concretion is, let me tell you. So a concretion usually forms when a plant or an animal dies, and over the course of millions of years, sediment solidifies around it. Which means that inside of this huge concretion is probably one or even hundreds of multi-million year old sea animal fossils. Now I've been looking in the rubble of this rock wall for years and during that time I found fossilized clams, snails, and even big clusters of mussels. But this is the biggest concretion I have ever seen here. Look just right here on top looks like we got a little clam. I wonder if I could break a chunk off. This probably isn't gonna work but just in case it does. That's why they call it a concrete. I need like a jackhammer or something. I'm gonna go back into town and see if I can find something. All right, we're at Harbor Freight. Let's see what they got. Okay, I got a four pound sledgehammer and a chisel. I'm gonna follow this natural crack right here and see if, see if we can actually break it without much effort. Check this out already. We have a spiral snail here. We got some rock slidage happening. Oh, Looks like we might have some kind of bone specimen here. I'm going to take this home and clean it up. Uh, take a look at this shape right there. Some weird, weird fragment of something. So here's what we have so far. We have this big spiral snail, some weird bone-like fragment, and then this really weird bone-like fragment right here. It's just a very odd shape. And here's another piece on the back. All right, I got my buddy Nate with me today. We are gonna work on getting this thing cracked in half. Our plan is to use this saw to create a cut line from one end of the boulder to the other, where we can place wedges and pry this rock we got apart. got a nice deep cut all the way down this rock. Now, this part was a little scary. Holding this ice wedge with a sledge hammer coming right for your hands is kind of intimidating but we continued hammering away at this bad boy yes. until one two three go yes there we go oh here we go look at this this looks like some kind of bone right here like a rib bone or something like that we got another one here i'm wondering if maybe some kind of animal like a deer or something died here and these are the bones poseidon's weenus look at this these just fell out of the cliffs here and look what's inside of these boulders these are all 20 million year old sea animals look at this we've got a spiral snail here we've got tons of these clams everywhere right next to it we have a soft shell clam another little spiral snail and they just fell out of these cliffs here. These cliffs have to be 10,000 feet high at least. Oh, here's a big scallop. Huge scallop. Oh my gosh, this scallop is gigantic. Literally thousands and thousands of 20 million year old sea animal fossils. And I know a lot of people are going to ask, how do I know these fossils are 20 million years old? Or they're going to say that the earth's only 6,000 years old. Or better yet, people are going to say the earth is only 20, 25 years old. I don't know. I'm going with science here. And I know that all of the fossils in this form formation have already been dated by Oregon State University to be between 15 and 20 million years old. 